Welcome back everyone, to the Tech Legend YouTube channel. In today's video, we are reviewing the Dragon Touch Max 10 tablet. As always, you can find the links to the products that are mentioned in this video, right in the description, and in the pinned comment down below. Without further ado, let's get started. Tablets aren't the hot commodity that they once were. As a result, we're seeing fewer models, less diverse options, and less choice all around. The good news is that it is increasingly easy to find a decent cheap Android tablet. Tablets are still great for e-reading uses, as a kid's device, and the list goes on. The Dragon Touch Max 10 is a mid-range tablet with an 8-core CPU, 3GB of RAM, and 32GB of internal storage space. It also has Android 9.0 making it a good tablet, for those looking for a good basic unit in 2020. The Max 10 is built to be a budget unit that would be a good fit in many scenarios, when an expensive high-end tablet is not needed. Let's talk about its specifications. Android 9.0 Pi Octa-core processor 3GB RAM 32GB storage 1200x1920 IPS Full HD display Dual-band Wi-Fi support 2.4GHz and 5GHz USB Type-C port Front and rear cameras. The package comes with the Max 10 tablet, user manual. USB Type-C charger, and wall plug. The power button, volume, headphone jack, and USB Type-C power port is at the top right of the unit. Next to the Type-C power port, there is an SD card slot with the symbol on the back of the tablet. The Max 10 supports up to 128GB micro SD cards. It has both front and rear cameras with the rear camera being listed as 8 megapixels. Here are some pictures that are taken with the Max 10 rear camera. Two speakers are located at the bottom of the unit with small visible holes. Powering on the unit will bring up a quick setup screen for language, Wi-Fi, updates, Google Gmail, and other basic settings. After the basic setup, the screen will boot to the main menu, and is ready to be used. Many basic apps are included which is easy to customize with the Google Play Store, installing almost any app needed. The tablet at dual band network and works on the older 2.4 GHz, or newer faster 5 GHz frequency. Using Geekbench 5 to test performance it gave the results of 145 single core and 817 for multi-core. The tablet is light and smooth to the touch. With a size of 10.1 inches, the tablet is large enough to watch videos or play video games, but still small enough that it can fit easily into any backpack, or purse without much notice. In addition, it has a comparable feel to the Galaxy Tablet, or Amazon Fire. The screen also comes with a protection seal to protect the underlying glass screen. Videos on the tablet look sharp. When watching movies on Netflix or videos on YouTube everything loads quickly. In addition, I played several video games using the tablet. All the games ran fine with zero issues and loaded fast. The battery does drain a little faster when playing high performance games, but most batteries do. There is Bluetooth connectivity so any business person can hook up a portable keyboard when they are on the road. Overall, the Dragon Touch Max 10 is a good unit for basic tasks such as watching YouTube, surfing the internet, or video chatting. It is not a high-end unit such as the Galaxy Note 10 or iPad Pro, and is built to do basic tasks without breaking the bank. For the money, it is a very good unit, and will no doubt be a good fit in many scenarios. If you are a heavy user such as gaming, or you do lots of multitasking, paying more for a high-end unit will likely be better. If you are looking for a tablet to do basic tasks it will be a good unit, and cost much less compared to a high-end unit. As always, thank you for watching our review on this product. Also, if you are interested to check this product out yourself, you can find the link in the description down below. If you like and found this video helpful, don't forget to give a like, comment, and to subscribe.